Growing up in sports, one thing you always hear from coaches is this phrase, be accountable. As adults, we have to figure out how to be accountable for ourselves. If you work in an environment where there is a team goal, you will always be accountable for doing your part to help the team advance. In an organization, if you have the correct systems in place and you have the right people to run those systems, then the organization can thrive. If you do not have the right system or you do not have the right people, it is possible that the organization will not thrive. The perfect, the perfect example of an organization thriving is a sports team who wins a championship. And you know they're really thriving if they're able to win another championship within a small window of winning the first one. That lets you know that the organization has built a winning culture. Creating a winning culture is what we want to do at our jobs, with our sports and our friend groups, with our family, with our romantic relationships. We want to build a winning culture. But again, remember this. If you have the right systems, and the right people in place, then an organization can thrive. If you do not have the right system or you do not have the right people, the organization most likely will not thrive. Let's just be honest here. You're going to make a mistake at some point in your life. You're going to hurt someone with your actions. You're going to cost your company money because you made a poor decision with a customer. You're going to take losses in life. It happens. You're going to upset your friend with your behavior and vice versa. All of these things happen to us and we cause them to happen to other people as well. But at this point, as conscious beings, we must ask ourselves, who are we once we deal with the adversity? I would love to tell you not to hurt people and that no one will never hurt you. I would love to tell you to never make a mistake. I would love to tell you to be perfect. But there are no perfect people. There are no perfect people. You're going to make a mistake. You're going to be in the wrong system at some times, at some points in life. I'm sorry. You're going to be the wrong person at some points in life. You're going to be out of alignment at some points in life. This happens. You're going to hurt people. This happens. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to lose. You're going to give someone the wrong information. You're going to lie. I mean, life is a learning experience for all of us. So get out of beating yourself up. We're not doing that. Today, we're owning up, we're being accountable, and we're focusing on righting our wrongs. We're focusing on changing what we can change in the moment. You can't change the past. You know that. I know that. We can't change the past. But what we can do is we can change how we associate with the past. We can change the trajectory, right? The actions that happened in the past happened. And they created this ripple effect throughout the universe of actions, right? With the mindfulness of today and with the focus of the now, with the accountability of the now, with owning the moment of the now, you can actually change the trajectory of said ripples and of said course by changing your actions, changing your beliefs, changing your mindset. You can't change the past, but you can change the now, and you can change the trajectory of some of your actions from the past. That's as close as we're going to get to a time machine. That sounds like a great opportunity to me.
Sounds like a great opportunity to me. Own it. Step number one, own it. When you flake out on your friend literally 30 minutes before the date, time, and location that you agreed to just days before, that's right, you need to own it for being a flaky friend. Own it. When you have questionable text message conversations with someone of the opposite sex and it comes out in the light in your relationship, own it. Just own it. When you forget to tell a customer the full policy and your store manager starts grilling you about the omission, that's right, own it. You did it, own it. Owning it means indicating responsibility for the action. I did that. Own it means indicating responsibility for the action. Owning it means you get out of your ego, you get out of the way, and you let everyone involved know that this one was on you. My bad. My bad. It's just like what you learned in sports. When you were supposed to make the play and you, and you didn't, you didn't follow your assignment closely enough, you let your teammates and you let your coaches know. My bad. That, that was on me. My bad. I'll do better the next play. I'll do better next time. My bad, my bad. I can always respect someone who can say, I messed up by doing this and I apologize. And I hope you see that my behavior has changed moving forward. Own it. I messed up. I messed up. I made a mistake. I apologize. I hope that you can see that my behavior has changed around this moving forward. The second tip towards accountability, how to, how to own up, be accountable and right your wrongs, is respect yourself and people in the situation. Oftentimes when we don't respect other people the way they want, or when we don't see how valuable they are, we disrespect them. Even if it's slight and if it's not obvious to our subconscious, it can still happen. You don't want to be the type of person who burns bridges, who makes situations worse than they, you know, than they have to be. And the best way to avoid that is to hold yourself to a high standard. Hold yourself to a high standard of excellence. In the context of what we're talking about today, you should make sure that you are communicating clear and effective messages. Be sure to treat people in a tactful and respectful way. Even if you hate your boss, there's no reason to turn up on them, curse them out, tell them about themselves. Smart people don't do that. There's no... If you hate your boss, there's no reason to turn up on them, curse them out, tell them about themselves, tell them how they suck at their job. Smart people don't do that. Smart people keep the frame of professionalism and they're tactful. Don't do that. Don't burn bridges like that. Own up to yourself. By respecting yourself, by building a standard of excellence. When you deal with someone, keep in mind you're going to have excellence in the back of your mind. Even if they piss you off, if they bother you, if they irk you, you want to you wanna create a standard of excellence. So they can't knock you off your frame of excellence. They can't knock you off. Because you're practicing excellence every day. So regardless of what they come to you with, with their low vibration, because you're practicing excellence, you're unbothered. You're unwavered. You're focused on your purpose, your daily purpose that day. Because you're practicing excellence daily. Do you get this? 
Be accountable. Be responsible for yourself. Step number one is to own it. Step number two, respect yourself, respect all people in the situation. Build that excellence. Step number three, what most of you are not willing to do, be willing to accept coaching. The person in the room who is the worst student, the worst athlete, the worst worker, the worst romantic partner is often in their ego. They refuse to listen. And worst of all, they cannot take any coaching. You, you, you have to break up with the I already know mindset. I already got it. I already understand. I'm already at the top. We are all students of life. I don't care what your degree says. I don't care how advanced you think you are. There's always more learning. There's always more to learn about yourself, about the world, about your industry, about your profession, about your tactics, about your behavior. There's always more to learn. So keep that open mind. You told me you want your energy to be free. So be willing to accept coaching. Be willing to stay open. Be willing to learn. Be willing to say, I don't know. Be willing to say, I need help. That's what the smartest person in the room does. Teach me. Show me. Motivate me. Inspire me. Yeah, I'm open. I'm open. My energy is free. I'm open to it. If you want to advance in life, you have to be able to take coaching. This means your partner may tell you what they want or need. And guess what? You have to listen to them. This means having the back of your teammate during a game. This means listening to your manager about how you can be more efficient at work. The smartest people in the world understand that they don't know enough. That there's more to learn. There's more to see. There's more to experience. There's more to feel. When it comes to knowledge, we don't know everything. So the smart person understands that we are always students. We are always evolving. We are always learning. This life will teach you many different lessons. Always stay humble and stay open to learning. A student stays hungry for information, growth, and experience. Keep that childlike curiosity and you will manifest growth and fun on your way of learning. The best way to do this thing that we call a life. Now, I'm going to give you my last tip, tip number four. But first, I have to tell you, I'm going on tour. I'm speaking in San Diego, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Miami. The Free Your Energy Tour. I can't wait to speak to you. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Actually, I actually don't know what, what song I'm singing, but it's... It's somewhere in my subconscious. It's a great song. Whatever song that is. I'm so excited. Okay, but for real. Grab a ticket. SylvesterMcNutt.net slash events. SylvesterMcNutt.net slash events. Grab a ticket. Come on out. You got to have a ticket to come out, okay? The tickets are 20 bucks. You're going to pay your $20. You're going to come in. We're going to talk. We're going to have a great time. We're going to vibe. We're going to connect. Now, most mostly it's going to be me talking. But what I'm going to do is allow you guys to submit questions so you can submit questions to me. Now, I'm bringing content. I'm bringing you value. I'm bringing you tips on how you can free your energy. But I also want to tailor each experience to each community. And if you guys in your community have questions, bring those. Right. And I'll have a way to collect those questions and then I'll be able to answer your questions specifically for your community. Now look, 
if I'm not coming to a city near you, well, you got two options. You can go to a city I'm going to, which that'd be cool, especially because my tour happens in the summertime, so you can travel. Or you gotta figure out how to get me to your city. You gotta you gotta scream at me. You gotta yell at me. Hey, Sly, you need to come here. You need to come here. I got ten people. We're ready to go. Come on, come here. Or or Sly, I got a venue for you. Here, come speak here. For your energy tour, go to sylvestermcnutt.net slash events. Get your tickets today. Now, I'm also going to ask one thing of you before I give you the last tip. One thing, if you can rate this podcast, rate it on you know iTunes, Spotify, wherever you guys are listening. If you can thumbs up this on YouTube, hit the like button. If you can comment, comment. Let me know what you got out of this video, what you're getting out of the experience. The more engagement that you give me, the better off that I get on the algorithms on the back end of things. So I just want to put that out there and I thank you guys. Now, let's get to the last tip, the conclusion. Dun, dun, dun. Be kind when you speak on yourself. Just because you messed up, that doesn't mean you're a bad person. Be kind when you speak to yourself. Just because you messed up, just because you made a mistake, that doesn't make you a bad person. I know you feel bad. I know you have guilt about that one thing you did, that one mistake you did, and it may haunt you, and it, and it, it may suck, right? But you're not that person anymore. You're not that person anymore. And so you have to understand that you're worthy of compassion. You're worthy of saying, hey, I made this mistake. You're looking at it as a mistake. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to make decisions like that because that decision hurt me. And that decision hurt other people. And I don't want to do that. When you talk like that compassionately to yourself, not only are you owning up, not only are you taking responsibility, but you're giving yourself the compassion. And the compassion is how you're going to move forward from whatever you did that hurt you and hurt other people. You're not going to move forward if you're just pissed off and angry. And if you're in your head telling yourself you're unworthy and I messed up. I, I wish that I did not make that mistake. Right? You really need to have that empathy. and You really need to feel man, I, I messed up, right? Having that empathy makes us human. So if you have that, it makes you human. It, it, it makes you healthy. Like, it's okay. I messed up. I made a mistake. I'm, I'm trying to correct it. And be genuine when you say that to yourself. I'm trying to correct it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that I don't duplicate that mistake. You know, Mistakes in life happen to all of us, and it's it's not so much about beating yourself over up over mistakes. It's really more about monitoring behavior. Because a mistake, right? The reason we say that something is a mistake is because it's outside of normal behavior. Normal behavior is, you know, you walk your dog every single morning at 7 a.m. Well, you didn't walk your dog this morning because you were super tired, because you stayed out the night before, the dog ended up peeing on with something, right? So instead of being mad at the dog, you're mad at yourself. Well, it's a, it was a mistake because you were outside of your normal behavior. And that's what you have to understand is that the situation or the element took you outside of your normal behavior. And now that you've learned, now that you've learned from this, you're going to be more mindful of your normal behavior. You're not going to stay out as late or you're going to, you're going to make sure that you have help with the dog in the morning if you stay out. And that's what life is. It's, it's simply about learning. It's, it's about learning from each little experience. Making a mistake does not mean that you aren't worthy of forgiveness. If you are given another opportunity to right your wrong, make sure you focus on changing the behavior that caused the mistake, the pain, or the problem. Be mindful of how you speak to yourself and use language rooted in compassion, love, and patience. You deserve that. Thank you for listening to the Free Your Energy podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with more content for you. If you don't follow me on Twitter, 
I don't know why I said it like that. Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, my user tech, my my user uh, username is Sylvester McNutt. I'm also on Facebook, but I don't I don't know if people use that anymore. I'm on LinkedIn. Add me on LinkedIn. We can connect. Link up. I'm on YouTube. Sly McNutt on YouTube. I mean, I'm a, there's only one of me. My podcast can be found on YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes, Apple Podcasts. My friends, thank you for listening. Free your energy.